Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one's going to be your uh, Talent Up prep guide for the new December Christmas Conspiracy that we have going on. Um, we're going to take a look at the Talent Up, have some examples for you, and um, get the breakdown to you. So I do want to thank Ash for hooking me up with this, uh, especially on a day when I'm doing two previews and have a have a ton to do. Uh, it was amazingly helpful, so thank you very much, Ash. He um, did the scoring and the examples and all that stuff, and he was nice enough to send it to me and let me know I could use it. So he did all the work uh, on that, and I'll just be talking about it. Um, you can see here the different points for the tasks uh, increase your roster talent by 1, 900. Increase the talent of Nikki Cross by 1,800. You can double dip. That makes 2,700 for her. Um, the examples I'll be showing you do not count the fuses in there. So that would be on top of the evolves you see. Um, so you get 108,000 for a 2-star, 360 for a 3-star, 720 for a 4-star, or a million for a 5-star. That's your evolve enhances or fuses. Um, Different scoring methods there, max milestone 167 million, and you can spend a max of 50 million coins. So let's take a look at some of the examples here. Here you have uh, the amount per each superstar evolve, Hall of Fame on the right, normal on the left, and uh, like I said, you would also add, if you wanted to, the extra uh, 1,080,000 on the 5-star, etc., etc. I like having that cushion anyway. That's how I typically do it. So if anything, I slightly overshoot than undershoot. I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. So I'll give you guys a minute to go ahead and screenshot these. Of course, you got the Nikki talent up, too, which is big. And your all of your points per token breakdown over here on the right side as well. So thank you again, Ash, for that and for the examples I'm about to bring up. So right here, and this is as big as I can make it. <clears throat> Scenario one is going to be spending um, 50,000 coin, 50 million coin, rather, uh, talent up Nikki 5k. And then you're doing a five star gold normal, which means not Hall of Fame. You got two of those couple five-star silvers, a five-star bronze, one four-star gold, and two four-star bronzes. That um, Having the two five-star golds, like in this example, if you only had one, you could just do two extra five-star silvers or start tacking in some of these five-star bronze and four-star golds. In particular, four-star gold is really good value. You can see it's almost as many points as a five-star bronze, um, so that pays out pretty well. Same thing with the... Um, the four-star bronze normals at uh, six million isn't bad. Four-star silvers are pretty good at eight million. So um, if you don't have enough of those, fill in with the smaller stuff and look for really good trainers and stuff. Um, don't forget um, that you also get points. So if you're really close, don't forget you get points for leveling up moves and you can use shards and stuff for that too. Example two, uh, 40 million coins spent, 5K talent on Nikki. And that's going to be one five-star gold, three five-star silvers, a five-star bronze, one four or two four three four-star golds. My bad, and I can read really. And one four-star silver normal. Um, this is probably something similar to what I'll have. I have a lot of guys ready for five-star silver. Um, and when I say ready, I also factor in spending coin on the talent up now, like it's its own coin event. So I deliberately don't level a few guys that I want to level up for the talent up. Let's take a look at the next two scenarios. These guys include a Hall of Fame to 5-star gold each. Um, so you can see this one will be one 5-star gold Hall of Fame, two 5-star silver normals, three 5-star bronze normals, two 4-star golds, and a 4-star bronze, along with 3k talent to Nikki and 45 million coins spent. The bottom one is the frugal coin spender, uh, 27 and a half million, uh, eight, uh, 3k talent up from Nikki, and then you got one five star gold Hall of Fame, one five star gold normal, a five star silver, two five star bronzes, one, two, three, 
uh, four star gold normals and two four star silver normals. You can see adding in some of these smaller ones really starts to add up and uh, put a dent into that coin. Also, um, don't forget um, if say you have like you didn't recruit um, Stacy at five star bronze, you have her at three star gold. You can use her shards and uh, use the coin and level her up right to four star bronze, get credit for that Evo, and then take her four star silver and four star gold, and you're gonna get a ton of points that way um, for Stacy. Or if you pulled someone else, uh, maybe I'm at a three star, maybe I'm at a four star, it's a good opportunity to get them going. And with the big coin amount, you can also like essentially skip a month of prep with one card so say you have a guy five star bronze you have tokens you want to take him five star gold maybe you just use that 50 million coin and get him there uh right now if you don't want to wait uh while you're doing your talent up too so there's a lot of flexibility with this and now that we know it's going to be there and you get points for the 50 million uh coin spent i think it's really beneficial and allows you to do a lot more stuff with talent up so hopefully you guys find this helpful um I will pop up the other scoring examples again real quick. I know this is last minute, but we did just get the blog, and it's a lot faster than if Ash would not have sent me this. So again, thank you, Ash, very much. It's super duper appreciated. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you have a great MLC, and happy holidays, and let's all go get Conspiracy Sammy. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.